we have a ring that is rotated we need to find the number of rps at which the ring ruptures so breaking stress of the ring is given so this is the ring which is turning so you can imagine that the centrifugal force on this ring will try to take this ring apart but the stress will keep the ring compress uh, elongation stress will keep the ring together so when it reaches its breaking stress then the ring will rupture so let's find what will be the stress in the ring at a given omega and then when we put the value of that stress as breaking stress we will find the value of omega so we'll take a small element on this ring which let's say makes an angle theta at the center so on that element there are two forces one is tension on this side one is tension on this side and because the ring is rotating its acceleration will be towards center so these are the only two forces and this is the acceleration now by geometry if this angle is theta so half angle is theta by 2 so this tangent will also make an angle theta by 2 with the horizontal same here also so let's write f is equal to ma on that elemental of that element so 2t sin theta by 2 is equal to dm into a so a will be centrifugal acceleration centripetal acceleration that will be omega square r and dm is equal to rho into dv so dv is the volume and dv is length of this part into cross sectional area that is r theta into a so again dm is equal to rho dv and dv is equal to r theta into a so we get so uh, because theta is small sin theta by 2 will be theta by 2 so t theta is equal to this theta will get cancelled and we'll get t by a is equal to rho r square omega square so this is the stress in the ring so when that reaches sigma b omega will reach omega max so we put that here and we get omega max to be 1 by r root sigma b by rho so this is in radian per second and as we did in the previous problem we divide that by 2 pi to get the answer in revolution per second all right